Well, there's um, some real challenges in working with these uh, very special people. Uh, there are people who uh, have been hurt very badly, traumatized, as the English language would, would describe it as being traumatized. But by and large, what happened was most of them were abused during that period from about six to ten years old. And when that happened, the, these young children uh, had no experience with any, mostly sexual abuse it was. Uh, they had no experience with that. Uh, they had not, they didn't have at the time cognitive thinking, so at that point in time they hadn't developed the ability to reason their way through. So the best that they could do is to close off what was happening to them. And, uh, and so that was a challenge because in order to prove their claim, they have to be able to specifically say exactly what happened to them and in the time, in the moment when this was happening. So for example, if one of the, the uh, supervisors was uh, abusing this person by taking them into their room and taking their... Uh, they had to specifically talk about each one of these uh, incidents that happened to them. Well, the way the mind works is it blocks this stuff off so that the child isn't in that place where, in a sense, uh, adults would say you'd have a nervous breakdown. So they close that part off. The child in their adult life doesn't remember any of this stuff. Uh, they're afraid to look at this stuff because it's all trauma. And so part of the work that we would do with the uh, with the client would be to help them to feel comfortable with us and one of the big things with these clients is uh, they have no trust uh, because this, the moment that that abuse happens they feel unsafe uh, their uh, their world of safety falls apart and they have no what we would call trust so nobody around them uh, they can trust nobody around them and so you know you get a person like the lawyer who comes in they don't know the lawyer uh, that, uh, but in a sense, the, the lawyer is asking them to, to tell a story, to trust them with that story. And the individual has a very difficult time doing that. And part of the, uh, the advantage I had was because I was First Nation. When they knew I was First Nation, there was immediately a bit of a, um, you know, uh, advantage for me in a sense that they would trust me as a First Nation person. So it got me part of the way. The other part, because of my experience, uh, would tell me that uh, they, in order for us to be able to understand what happened to them, we had to get them to unblock this, to, to talk about this. And uh, we understand, of course, uh, that there's a child within us, uh, that at around puberty, that child begins to uh, uh, develop into the young adult. Uh, but there is a child there. And that, child is badly damaged. Uh, for that child to speak about things, uh, they have to have some authority from someone to speak about this. And the natural authority is the adult person giving them permission to talk about this. So the adult person has to speak to that young person uh, back there and say, uh, it's okay for you to talk about it. It wasn't your fault. And you're not going to get into trouble when you talk about this stuff. And then things open up and the adult can see then what happened to the child because the child then unblocks this stuff. So um, that was one of the biggest challenges in doing this work, uh, the trust aspect and for them to, to feel comfortable enough to be able to look at uh, what happened to them and to be able to describe it in enough detail that they were able to um, prove their case.